Hey guys, I'm Dan Patton with Patton Productions out of Knoxville, Tennessee. We are a Hollyland dealer, but we're also a user of all their products as a production company. So we not only sell, but we use these things on a daily basis. I'm currently set up in my kitchen on our counter. My wife is going to love me for doing this. <laughs> Definitely joking. Um, we had a set of eight of the um, M1 Solidcom headsets. And we want to combine that with another set of M1 Solidcom headsets. So we picked up a second set for a concert series we're doing, uh, thanks to Hollyland. And we are going to combine these two hubs. So first thing to note right off the bat is make sure your hub is on the latest firmware. We did struggle a little bit because the hubs were on mixed firmwares and we had some troubles with that initially but we've got them all hooked back up. So I'm not gonna go over the firmware update on this one, but I do have another video where I've kind of covered this. Um, once you've done the firmware update and you're sure that the hubs and the body packs are all current, I personally like to go in and reset both the units. So I just basically do long press hold, go into my reset. Yes, reset it and I clear it. You don't have to do this, I just had better luck. I also want to note that I've done nothing with the um, uh, network settings. There's no DHCP set or anything beyond how they were after I've reset them. That's why I kind of recommend doing this and it works fine. So you'll note here, I've got the um, uh, RJ45 cable that they supplied into PoE LAN. This is gonna be my master coming from PoE LAN into the power on the second unit, which will ultimately be my slave. You're also gonna notice too, on the master and the slave, hopefully this can be read it pretty well, I show eight body packs over here, eight body packs. By the time I'm done, you should see a total of 16 body packs, eight here and nine through 16 here. So first thing, hold down long press, we're gonna set slave by going over one to the right into master slave settings. And it's gonna say master or slave. In this case, I want this to be my master. That's all I gotta do. That one's pretty well ready to go. Come to this one, long press. Again, come over one to my master slave. I'm gonna select on it. And here's a mistake I made early on. I messed this up when I tried doing this the first time. I go into slave, let me see if I can Pull this out a little bit, get it clear. I go into uh, slave on this one. It does its configuration, it talks to the other one. And then if this is set up properly, if it's doing what it should, you should see down here the IP address, the list. And the important thing here to get it to actually work, let's see if I can stabilize this camera a little bit, is you want to go down to that IP list where you've got the asterisk. Once you've got the asterisk on it, you'll push the middle button. This will select it. If you don't do that, you might actually jump out without actually selecting that IP for the slave. Now, if I go back, up and back, you'll notice here, if you can read this, we're gonna try if at the top, it says slave. So now I've got a master on one side and I've got slave. You're also gonna notice that the numbers for the uh, belt packs are now nine through 16. So now I have the full setup and it's really quite easy if you do it right. The first time I definitely did it wrong a few times. I thought this might help somebody out, but um, these are pretty awesome. We're super excited about using a full 16 set at this upcoming concert. And that's really all I had to do. Now I can go in from here and um, let's do a long press here. I can go in from here and start playing with my groups. Pop over to groups, go over and say two groups in this case. And now I've got two groups. And the cool thing is you'll see as you go through these groups, that is showing me uh, the nine through 16. Let me see if I can do that and actually read it. How's that? That's better. You can see now I've got groups nine through 16 on this one. And going back to my master, if I pop in and say two groups, because I want to configure for my two sets of guys I've got running with headsets, one through eight. So I can play with this and configure and combine the groups and whatever. And like myself, I'll probably be on both group A and B. So whoever is belt pack one, which will probably be me, I'll make sure I'm on both of those. And then I'll split up my groups as needed. 
But anyway, it's really that easy. It's not that difficult. Number one, make sure you are updated. Not just the hub, but also your body packs. And then once you do that, it's really as easy as what I just went through there. And I'm hoping to save somebody a lot of time and trouble the way I went through. Now I gotta get off the stuff uh, off my counter before my wife kills me. Thanks guys.